All right, we're going to continue on with um, destructive abdomen pathology. So destructive diseases of the abdomen involve usually a presence of air or a blockage of some sort. So your bowel obstruction, some terminology we should know, is volvulus. That involves the twisting of the intestine causing a blockage. The ileus could be a partial or complete uh, blockage. It's common after surgery. And then intussusception is the telescoping one. So when um, the intestines sort of telescope over itself, this tends to happen in pediatrics. Pneumoperitoneum is your free air in the peritoneal cavity. Hirschsprung's disease, um, this is common seen in um, children. Sometimes it's referred to as megacolon or really big colon, right? So it has a swollen belly. And then um, aerophagia is repetitive or excessive um, air swallowing. Okay. All right, so we have just some images here that I wanted to show you. And this first image here is an example of a volvulus. You can see where there is air in the abdomen here. And this colon is really big. There is an area of blockage here. You can see there's no air coming out where it's supposed to go. Because there's nowhere for it to go, the colon just keeps getting bigger and bigger and containing it. Remember, volvulus involves a twisting. An intestinal obstruction could be a blockage within here. We can see again, there's no air. Look at all these air pockets. This really caught, this patient um, has air kind of all the way up to the diaphragm here. And then all the way over here is Hirschsprung's disease or the megacolon. And you can clearly see it's a pediatric patient. All right, and then um, these were some examples of the pneumoperitoneum. And so, you know, the um, free air in the abdomen is air that is not supposed to be sort of out by itself, right? We all have air in our abdomen. We have air in our intestines. We have air in the gastric bubble of our stomach. Totally normal. But when air is leaking out of one of those places into the peritoneal cavity, it's not good. And this happens usually, um, it could be trauma. There's a puncture hole somewhere or a perforation somewhere. Um, there is air leaking out of somewhere if there's free air in the abdomen. It is best seen in either an upright position or a decubitus. And um, this first picture here with the black arrow is a chest x-ray. So PA chest, you can see the free air, it's underneath the abdomen. This one in the middle is a lot of free air and very, very dark. But again, you want to get a little bit of diaphragm and above. That's why on your upright abdomen and your decubitus, we center two inches above the crest, right? So we want to see up a little higher because air rises. We use a left lateral decubitus, so left side down for abdomen, and we want the right side of the body up. Why? Remember, the left side has the stomach. In the top of the stomach is the gastric bubble. Guess what it has in it? Air. So we don't want to put something with air up because then it might be hard to differentiate. So we put left side down, right side up because the liver is a solid organ. So the liver will be on the upside. Free air will rise above the liver and it'll be here. Okay, so right side up, left side down. So pneumoperitoneum or free air of the abdomen is best seen in either an upright position or decubitus. And just remember for abdomen, we want left lateral decubitus.